In the following video, we are going to look at two operations involving functions. We're going to examine how to add and subtract functions. If I'm asked to take f plus g of x, that means I'm adding function f plus function g. If I'm asked to take f minus g of x, that means I'm taking function f and subtraction function g. And so that's very basic. It turns into just combining like terms. Subtraction is the one that involves some thinking, so let's take a look. I'm given f of x equals x squared minus 4, and g of x equals 2x plus 1. And number one, I'm asked to take f plus g. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take x squared minus 4, and I'm going to add my g of x, which is 2x plus 1. Now, if I combine like terms for this, I'm adding, so I have x squared. There's only one x term, that's 2x, so plus 2x. And then I have negative 4 plus 1, which is negative 3. And so combining like terms, I get x squared plus 2x minus 3. And so that's f plus g of x. If I want to take f minus g of x, that involves a little bit more process. You take x squared minus 4, because that's f. And you notice how I'm putting f and g in a parentheses, and the reason why is because of subtraction. So minus parentheses your g of x, which is 2x plus 1. The reason why I'm doing parentheses, and we've covered this before when we've added and subtracted polynomials, is this minus sign has to be distributed to both terms. This is where all the mistakes usually occur, not with the first term, but with the second term. So my advice is always, you don't need to rewrite the first parentheses, you don't need to rewrite f, but you do need to rewrite g of x by just distributing that minus sign across. And so really I have minus two x minus one. And now combine like terms. So I have x squared, minus 2x, and negative 4 minus 1 is negative 5. And so this is adding and subtracting functions. It's very basic. However, with subtraction, show at least one step of what occurs after you distribute the minus sign. Those students who do not usually mess up this constant over here, or the last term over here, and end up not distributing it there. So do at least show the distributing and move on. So let's do two more examples. f plus g of x. This time I'm told f of x is x squared plus 5x minus 2. So again, I put it in a parentheses. I have x squared plus 5x minus 2. I'm adding g of x, which is 3x minus 2. So if I just combine like terms here, x squared, I have 5x plus 3x, which is 8x, and I have negative 2 plus negative 2, which is negative 4. And so there's combining like terms. The final answer being x squared plus 8x minus 4. If I'm doing f minus g, again, put f in a parentheses, so x squared plus 5x minus 2. This time I'm subtracting g of x, which is minus parentheses. 3x minus 2. Show at least one step, and that step being distribute the minus sign to both terms. And just rewrite underneath what it would be. It would be negative 3x plus 2. And now you can combine your like terms. x squared. 5x minus 3x is a positive 2x. Negative 2 plus 2 is 0. So my final answer is x squared plus 2x. And so this is how you add and subtract functions. It's no different than how we add and subtract polynomials. It's just now I'm giving them to you in function notation. You write it out and just combine like terms when necessary.